Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, machines and machine freaks. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. We have the turbo just to spool on the Duramax. We are loading up Crush. Crush has not been cleaned yet. We are about to fix that. However, by not cleaning him, Mother Nature and well the atmosphere has have done a very, very good job so far. But now it's time to put our tri ball to work yet again. Feel so legit having a tri ball. Okay, we're cleaning up Crush, uh, automatically cleaning up Crush, might I add. I, I've hosed down a lot of it. Now I gotta get the pressure washer up. Before I couldn't even see this decal in here. I can't believe it still survived. Crush is officially in the warehouse. Now we can assess his damage. That tire is extremely, extremely muddy. Right off the bat, I can see that this thing's broken here. This is a boot protector, your CVX a boot protector. The first thing that we'll do is we'll jet crush up. Honestly, if I had really, really low standards, I could probably just put air in this tire and it would probably seal back up, but we don't have those low standards. Let's see what this looks like. I really, really pressure washed both the inside and the outside of this brake caliper along with the rotor and everything. And you can see how close that rim does ride to the caliper because there's still a lot of dirt. Now if you look here, you can definitely see this boot guard is definitely not doing its job. You can see both the bolts are there though. So it's just cracked there. So I'll have to order one of those. Thanks to my cellular device, you can kind of see what's down in that brake pad. Crush already has new upper and lower ball joints along with all front bushings. The boot does not have any splits or cracks in it, which is really, really good because these are brand new CV axles as well. I also whacked a small little tree. I only had one bolt hanging onto this piece of plastic, so that just ripped and broke there. So I need to get all four new clips. I don't think you can even read that, but uh, that says right boot guard, and this is four clips. I don't know what that means. You guys know what that means. All right, I took that guard off, and it's right here. You can see where this cracked. I think this is the one I actually replaced, or maybe it was the other one. It was missing one of them. But hey, if this thing did its job and protect that boot, this thing definitely was worth the money. Now it's time. Do we have to replace this tire? Or did this six-ply tire hold up? I cannot break the bead on this side. On this side, I managed to get the tire off of the rim. And we do not need a new tire. This one's good. And I've thrown everything that I have at it. I've ran it over with my 7,000 pound truck. I've also taken my homemade hitch bead breaker. Threw that in the Duramax and tried to break the bead and it wasn't doing it. So I can't, I can't take that tire off today. I understand can't ever did anything. I just don't have the right tools. So Crush didn't do too bad at the race. I mean, breaking parts wise. I really wish that that strong side of the bead was on the outside. That way we wouldn't even yeah, yeah, your tire wouldn't have fell off your wheel. Yes, I am future Dalton, future 3D machines, and yes, I am slightly older and slightly wiser, believe it or not. You can clearly see Crush is not in his space. The only thing in here right now is the Jeep. I'm here for a few reasons. One of them is to make sense of this 3D machines production. Things have been kind of chaotic, whether it's with Crush, the Jeep, just, just life in general. And the other reason is to remind you that I'm going to give this GoPro away. I'm having a one week long contest. That is not a lot of time at all. Not a lot of people will enter this. I'm giving away this GoPro Hero 5 Black Edition with a whole bunch of mounts. I don't have the mounts on me right now, but it's a chest mount, a couple selfie sticks, head mounts, a whole bunch of stuff. All you gotta do is go to machinemerch.com and buy any item on the site. It doesn't matter what the item is. It can be a sweatshirt, it can be a t-shirt, it could be a hat, it could be a... It could be a decal. Yes, anything. You can enter this contest multiple times. Every order you make is a entry. So if you buy one sticker, that's an entry. Say an hour later or a day later happens, you wanna buy a hat, that would be another entry. There's also ways to enter this contest for free. For the official rules to win this thing, go to machineworks.com. I'm sure a few of you could find a use for that GoPro. Now, I'm not currently going to go up to the Crush Carrier because I've already done this, because this is the future. I'm going up to the crush carrier to work on the roof. Well, this Dalton is. I was just on the roof and I was patching that up. I'm doing it in a few different steps so that way uh, we get proper, proper, very good fusion of the material that I'm using. I'm looking for holes or cracks by seeing if I can see light. By seeing if I see light through the ceiling here. We started working on this side today. As you can see, we got all of this done. Now we gotta put this piece of trim 
caulk, and this adhesive strip on there. And then we'll have one more thing done with the crush carrier. There are a lot of complicated tasks while working on the crush carrier. Well, what I was going to say was this tape is, is really, really complicated, but Cole didn't want me to, oh, he's still got his shirt off. He doesn't want me to show him with his shirt off. I apologize. But this stuff is really, well, really I just sticky. I don't want that to be the main focus of the video. Oh, okay. <laughs> When you're playing with it, it takes all of the, the oils off your fingers and it eventually gets really, really sticky and it can't even get off your hands. So another clip that you guys missed was Danny actually took a bet and uh, he like did it so savagely that it wasn't even a bet anymore because it just didn't work. I told him to take a foot of this and put it on his uh, happy trail, which if you're not familiar with that, uh, that's from... No, you don't need to... Well, he put that really, really sticky stuff on and it just pulled right off and it only got two or three hairs. So that bet was uh, disqualified. Check this out, it's getting really, really dark. And look at this rain cloud, it's completely missing us. It's right there, it's super, super dark and it is going right past us, like right past us. I mean, we're right here and it's just barely missing us. This is us, this is them. Cool, we might get a, a sprinkle or a mist but those guys, they're sucking. A few moments later. Mother Nature wants us to shut down, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta listen to her. Uh, it's getting dark anyways. Rain on top of that, it's not very good at all. But the roof, the roof is working. I haven't patched this entire thing. I haven't coated this entire thing. However, when we did tear this thing apart, the front portion here was absolutely roached. And uh, we've done a very, very good job of sealing all of that because as you can see, there are no leaks at the moment. We have a nice steady drip right there. So I'm gonna apply another one, maybe even two coats up front, and then we'll do one or two solid coats along the entire thing. The crush carrier though, I love this thing. Yeah.